Psalm, Psalm, in the storm. Psalm 30. Uh, David writes about the end of a difficult trial. And he describes the trial itself and he says, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. And so David is experiencing some opposition here. And he said, O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. And O Lord, you have brought my soul up from the grave. You've kept me alive that I should not go down uh, into the pit. And so, you know, life-threatening trial that he was in the, in the middle of. Lord, you spared me from dying. He said, sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. He learned some things in the middle of this trial. And the first thing that he learned there in verse 4 is that the Lord is worthy of praise and he's worthy of thanks every time we think of him, even in the middle of a trial, even in the middle of a trial. Say, boy, you know, well, what am I to thank you for? I'm about to die. Well, there's plenty to be thankful for. And so he learned that in the trial. And then he learned that trials are only for a limited time, but the blessings of the Lord are forever. Notice in verse 5, for his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Now again, the theme of the psalm is the end of a difficult trial. And David's just saying, this is what I've learned about how trials end in the Lord. He turns them all around, turns them all around. You know, you, you, I thought he was going to wipe me out there, going to be angry with me forever, but his favor came upon me, and that's for life. I, you know, I wept, but the weeping that I did was by, like a night in comparison to the joy that, that has come into my life at the end of it. And he said, now in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by your favor, you have made my mountain stand strong, and you hid your face, and I was troubled. And so uh, David, you know, praising uh, the Lord here. Might have had to do with the time that David had counted the uh, children of Israel. Uh, could have been that, uh, and he numbered them, and God had told them that they were not to be numbered. And so here he was, God had established him, everything was going great, he was lifted up in his pride because everything was going well, and he began to think, the strength of this nation is the size of the number of people who live here rather than our God who has brought us this far. And so he misrepresented the Lord in that, and so, you know, God brought him down from that place where he thought, oh, I'm, I'm sure, you know, and, and so it might have been that counting of the numbering of the people in First Chronicles 21. And he said, I cried out to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? I mean, if Lord, if you kill me, can I praise you, you know, in the grave? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Lord, can I speak for you there? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. And then now the end of the trial, speaking of it, for you have turned for me. You've turned it all around, Lord. You've turned for me my mourning into dancing. I mean, and I, you know, don't shout out, but I mean, in each of our lives, I mean, as we walk with the Lord and as we go through these valleys, and some of them self-inflicted and others inflicted by others, you know, in our lives and circumstances and all this stuff, this is it. I mean, I'm going to mourn the rest of my life over this chapter in my life and all. By the time the Lord gets done with it, what does He do? He's turned it into dancing. I mean, you just say, would somebody dance with me over what the Lord does? I mean, it's just you're dancing and just before the Lord and all excited about that. And, you know, these are some of the most beautiful verses in the whole Bible here. He said, you have put off my sackcloth. I, I was my garment of mourning. Again, it was temporary. And now what you've clothed with me with at the end of the trial is you've clothed me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. And so that beautiful 
psalm on the end of the trial where David's speaking by the Spirit and saying, oh, wait till you see how God turns that whole thing